Holy shit, Crazy's on Black Ops 3. I'm gonna enjoy the ride, enjoy the ride. Ha! I tricked you. Made you think I was gonna have a face cam on this video, didn't I? Didn't I? Admit it. You thought I was gonna have a face cam. You did. I'm laughing at you right now. I'm really laughing at you. No, I'm kidding. But anyway, what's up guys? Crazy VR here. Today, I'm bringing you guys some Black Ops 3, unfortunately. Uh, I got the Awakening DLC. I don't know why I bought it. I was just like, you know what? I'll give it a chance. I wanted to play Skyjacked anyway. And I like Skyjacked, actually. I've played it. It's not bad. It really isn't. I haven't played this map yet. Or if I have... Yeah, no, I haven't played this map yet. I played the, the Water Park one. Gauntlet, Skyjacked, now this is the last one. And I have the Dyson Drops, or however you say it, to play. But yeah, I tricked you into thinking that I was going to have a face cam. You guys all feel salty. I'm kidding. Um, yeah, the reason the reason I'm not having a face cam is because my face cam gets really laggy. My my webcam gets really laggy if I if I'm recording gameplay at the same time. Um, so I'm gonna word defending. Yes. Okay. So uh, I'd rather not have a laggy face cam and, and just have a regular cut cam. So have you guys missed Black Ops Three on my channel? I'm gonna judge it by the views. I'm actually, that's like actually a serious question, like, I want to know, have you guys missed Black Ops 3? Have you been enjoying t the Division being posted, and Battlefield, and Rocket League, even though I've only posted one Rocket League video so far, I have, I do have other Rocket League videos recorded, and my rants that I've been posting, because I've been talking about it for years now, that I wanted to... I, I've had my channel for four years. I think for three of them, I've wanted to, to post rants, and I just started doing them. So if you guys are wondering what made me want to play Black Ops 3, I don't even know, honestly. I just kind of had this urge to play it, and I was like, you know what? I'm going to record it, because I'll probably get pissed off at the game and quit it for another couple months. And people are going to laugh, and it just sucks that I can't have a face cam on. That you, so you guys can see my face when I'm saying half the shit I say. I kind of missed using the Razor Pack in the M8 though. I, was, I saw a video and I was like, you know what? I need to use that gun. I was like, that's not in Battlefield. That's not in the Division. I need to use it. I really needed a, a, to, a refreshing first person shooter. And the only way I was going to refresh this game for me... Oh, that's cool. You're going to try to hit a cross map shot. Let's go. Let's see it. I want to see it. I'm going to follow you. I don't know who said it, but I think it was this dude. God damn it. I slid right into his grenade. So on two of the videos I posted that I thought would be like really controversial, um, this is really random. I, I was just thinking about it. On two of the videos I posted that I thought would be really controversial, they're two of my successful videos. My uh, my abortion video that I posted in AW days, uh, I think it was in January of 2015, um, and um, my same-sex marriage video. They actually got some pretty positive feedback. I did, I did get some negative feedback on the same-sex marriage video. Basically, it was somebody saying that they didn't like that I said I don't really care because it doesn't affect me and you guys know my whole attitude is I don't really care I because I don't really give a shit about things a lot of things but I do make I do have opinions on most of those things um, and in saying that and I kind of explained it to that person in the comments but I know not everybody's gonna read the comments in saying that what I more meant was it I'm not really emotionally involved in that situation um, oh, just trying to get out of there. Oh well, but yeah, like I'm very outspoken, um, and I make I make my opinions known, and like that's why I bicker with like Joe, for example. He'll say something, I'll like I'll start like 
I also, a, a thing I do a lot is I, I tease people. Like, if they say something that's stupid, I'll make fun of them, I'll repeat it. It's, it's, and it's a joke. I don't mean it to, uh, in any harm. And Nate and Gino both know that. And Nate and Gino both have really thick skin. They've been friends with me for 10 years, 10, 11 years, something like that. I don't know. I've been friends with Nate since kindergarten, so that's 12 years. I've been friends with Gino since first grade, so that's 10 years. So, that, I don't know. My math's probably way off. Um, but yeah, I've known Nate. I met Nate March 1st, 2004. The only reason I remember that is that's the day I started T-Ball. Um, it was like 2004 or something. So like, we're, yeah, Nate and I are 12 years that uh, we've known each other. Um, so they've known over time how my personality is. They've learned it. And they know that I mean well. I don't mean things in harm, harmful ways. So and they know that. And... Joe just has yet to learn that, and I'm not calling him out specifically, but he's one of the people that you guys see in videos, you guys know who he is, sort of, so that's why I keep saying him. Um, but there's other people that, that I'm friends with that I bicker a lot with, too, but it's mostly Joe that I bicker with. Um, and in the end, we'll go a couple days without talking to each other, and then we'll be cool. And it's very weird. It's like we're a married couple. We're not.